Well, let's get a feel of what went on at the Senate today. And we're now being joined by our National Assembly correspondent, Linda Akigwe, who Senate. Thank you for your time, Linda. So proceedings must have been really intense today with this huge decision by the lawmakers. Oh, yeah, thank you. The Senate resumed today after a two-week recess and then um, jumped right into, I might say, you know, war path with the executive. The, w what exactly happened was that the, the, the acting president sent um, a letter to the Senate for confirmation of the DG of the National Lottery Commission, Mr. Lamik Bajabi Amina. But after the, the president read the letter, a federal lawmaker stood up to remind lawmakers that the acting president did say earlier in April, some months back, that um, the Senate did not have the power, does not have the power to confirm any nominee apart from ministerial and ambassadorial nominees. Now, lawmakers were visibly upset with that statement when it was recalled on the floor and then took a position that they would no longer entertain the confirmation of any nominee, either ministerial or ambassadorial or any nominee from the executive until until the acting president takes back that position and then also and, and, and also honors the recommendation of the Senate as regards the confirmation of the acting EFCC chairman, Ibrahim Magu. Well, talking about the acting EFCC chairman, Ibrahim Magu, we also understand that the controversy on the acting chairman led to a huge debate and, of course, a subsequent showdown with the federal government. Is that true? Yes. Yes, that's true because you know, the, the Senate had earlier rejected the confirmation of Ibrahim Mago. And but the, the executive, the, the, the acting president has not made any decision as 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 of now on who on the status of the acting chairman if he at this stage he's still acting. But the Senate wants the acting president to honor the decision, the recommendation by the Senate that, that Mr. Ibrahim Mago should not be the president chairman of the EFCC. Well, so Linda, from all that you have seen so far today, do you have any idea what all this could mean? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Yeah, I was just saying that with all that has happened so far in the Senate today, do you have any idea of what all this could mean? Well, for me, I am actually surprised by the action of the, this, what the lawmakers did today because this, the remark by the acting president is not new. He said this over three months ago. So I'm wondering, and, and the Senate has gone on to confirm other ministerial nominees. We saw that the Senate has confirmed some ambassadorial nominees, confirmed some ministerial nominees. That's the replacement for Ogisi. So it came as a surprise to us that months after the, 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 pres, the acting president made that remark and even sent some nominees, which the Senate confirmed, the Senate is going back to that remark by the, by the acting president to say it would no longer entertain confirmation of any nominees. So this could be at a level of high, high, high level politics and on the ground tension between the executive and, and the National Assembly. Remember that the Senate, the National Assembly as a whole, is on the war party with the Minister of, of Power, that Mr. Fashola, over some some issues on the budget, the, 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 the minister is claiming that the Senate, the National Assembly, inserted some projects into the budget and also cost funding for some critical infrastructure. So this could be, you know, high-level politics playing out. Well, before I let you go, Linda, was there any mention of Senator Dino Belaya's recall now that INEC has released a timetable for the process? Oh, yes. Now, that was not a major thing that happened in the Senate. The, the, the Senate of Malaye brought against the attention of the lawmakers the process of the recall by INEC. And he's alleging that the process is faulty at the moment. And then lawmakers, the lawmakers, the chairman, the deputy Senate president, reminded, is reminding INEC that there are lots of things steps which the electoral body has to follow before a lawmaker can be recalled can be recalled. And the final step is that according to the Electoral Act, the amended Electoral Act, one of the final steps would be that INEC would need to convince the Senate that it followed due process and all the steps in recalling the Senate, in recalling a senator. Well, thank you very much, Linda, for those updates there. National Assembly correspondent, Linda Akiwit.